Hi, this is Carhaven Ramiro here. Uh, we have a 2018 X3 with uh, new B-series engines. This is a B46. Came to us with a coolant leak. And we are seeing this very, very frequently in almost every car we see. About 80, 90,000 miles, uh, they, they leak coolant pretty badly. And that is because of a design decision that the BMW um, technical team made, which is to go from an aluminum oil filter housing to a plastic one. So yeah, probably that saved them money. Uh, they got, a, got them out of the warranty period, which is typically 48,000 miles, four years. But that leaves you as the owner with a ticking time bomb at about, like I said, 80, 90,000 miles. Uh, you will see later uh, the failure mode specifically, which is a pretty bad crack inside the oil filter housing gasket. Now, this is really dangerous because, as you know, oil leaks are bad. Some are very bad, but generally not as bad as a coolant leak. The reason is that a coolant leak means that your engine runs the risk of overheating. Once it overheats, head gasket goes, and then the engine is toast. You're looking at a new engine replacement. That actually happened to us before, just this last week on a 540. Same exact issue, the driver did not have the, uh, the presence of mind to stop the car. He kept driving, ah, just two more miles, three more miles, I'm gonna make it home, and then the engine overheated. This owner um, uh, uh, made it the right choice, which is to stop the car right away, have the car towed to us, and then we could diagnose it properly. You're gonna see um, that the only real solution for this is to convert is to upgrade the oil filter housing to, a, to an aluminum one. There's a really nice uh, rain kit that comes with a full kit with all the bolts, the gaskets, and the aluminum oil filter housing kit. So let me show you how that's done. Okay, so here you can see the consequences of that oil filter housing leaking or being cracked. Look at how bad a leak is. So this car was losing coolant at a, an alarming rate, which is why the car was complaining so much about it. So if this happens to you, you gotta stop the car immediately. Do not even think about, oh, can I make it to my house? It's just two more miles. Just right away, stop the engine, or you can risk complete engine failure, which we have seen happen. So we got it out. You can see where it's cracked and leaking. Now we have the oil filter housing in place. As you can see in there, bolts to the block directly. So there we go. Okay, and now the car is finished. Cool on to the right level. Oil filter housing, all metallic installed in there. You can see it right there. More importantly, car idling nice and steady. and no uh, coolant warnings on the iDrive system. So all set.